here they are for one and all The moments are about to call Come on and sit down here with me They're here for you on your TV They are the moments They are the moments So come with me, give me your hand I'll take you up to moving land You can fly just like a bird And sing the best song ever heard There were the moments 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 It's the middle of winter in Moomin Valley, and all is quiet and peaceful in Moomin House as everybody enjoys their winter slumber. The house is full of dust covers, on the chandelier, on the furniture, on everything, waiting until they all wake up again on the first day of spring and start to get everything in Moomin House clean and ready for the coming summer. What's this? It looks like Moomin is restless, as if something has disturbed him. I wonder what he was dreaming about. I wonder what time it is. Oh, it's nearly 20 after 2. wonder whether it's morning or afternoon. It doesn't really matter, I suppose. Oh, it stopped. Oh, it's frozen. It looks really dark out there. Mama, Mama, please wake up. Papa, Papa, Mama, 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 what's wrong with me? I feel wide awake. It's very odd. I don't usually wake up when I'm hibernating. is buried in snow. doesn't look like Moomin Valley. And it's so quiet. Oh. What 
What was that? Perhaps I'd better go home. No, what's the matter with me? Everyone's asleep and the furniture's all covered up and moments don't give up. I wish Snufkin were here. He's probably in the far south where it's warm and sunny. strange noises and came to see what it was. Then you crashed into me like an avalanche, and I've just lifted the box off you and... Oh, don't be stupid, Moomin. I mean, why are you out in the snow and not hibernating like the others? Spring's not for ages. Oh, I don't know. I just woke up and couldn't get back to sleep. But what about you sliding about like that? You should be asleep, too. Yes, I should, but I just woke up as well, probably to look after you. I tried to wake my stupid sister, but she kept on snoring. But I think this snow is really great. Well, I don't. It's cold, it's slippy, much too bright, and, and it's everywhere and far too quiet. I saw the Grok. Oh, that horrible freezing monster. She should feel at home in this, and there's no point in her trying to freeze anything. I saw her on the hill. Then it was her voice I heard. Yes, and the trouble with the horrid thing is that she's so cold, I wouldn't even want to touch her, Moomin. <gasps> it's her! Oh. Oh. I'm getting cold shivers all over. Well, what do you expect in the snow? No, it's the Grok's fault. She's done it. Look at my skin. It's all goosebumpy. It's not like that in the summer. It's smooth, not lumpy. It's not the snow that makes me feel so cold. It's her staring at me. I'm scared. That was great. Good, isn't it? You can have as much as you like. We picked more raspberries than ever this year, and Mama made lots of juice. Thanks. Oh. Ah, I want that. Mama's silver tray? Yeah. What do you want it for? To slide on the snow with, of course, stupid. But it's a sort of family treasure, an heirloom. Well, you never use it, and it's so shiny. It'll make a great sled and go really fast. Doesn't look like they'll wake up till spring. They're lucky they're still sleeping. I think it's very unfair that I woke up like this. So, what should we do now? I want to go look at the sea. Good idea. At least that won't be covered in snow. that the grape cold was just like this. Oh, no! What's the matter? I forgot the tray. Never mind. You couldn't use it as a boat anyway. It would sink. Yes, you could. What? How? Oh, look! There's the sea! But it's all frozen. So we'll be able to slide on it. What's that over there? Huh? Toot! 
Mickey! Hello, you two. You're not hibernating either? Oh, no. I haven't got time to spend four months sleeping. Why not? Little Maya and I just woke up and now we don't know what to do. I'm sure you can think of something. I suppose so. I've never seen the sea frozen before. Did you make that horse too ticky? Yes, I did. Can I sit on it? No, you can't. I need it for the Lady of the Cold. Oh, I see. I suppose you've heard of her. Yes, she's very beautiful, but if she looks into your eyes, you turn into a block of ice. She's not a very nice lady. That's right, little Mai, and spring can never come while she's here. It waits for her to go. Oh, I see. And are you hoping she'll ride away on this horse then? Yes, and it will take her back to the north, where she stays until she comes here again next winter and drives the sun away. The horse doesn't look very solid to me, Tutiki. Well, that's why I'm going to pour water over it when it gets really cold, and then it'll freeze solid. When is the Lady of the Cold coming? You can never tell, but soon. Tonight, perhaps. It feels much colder already. What's happened to the sun, Tutiki? Do you know when the sun will come back again? <laughs> it's in the south, shining on Snufkin. But it'll be back soon, and then it will stay a bit longer each day. Good, I can't wait. Now, there'll be a full moon tonight, and we'll be able to see everything. Great! I can get my tray out! I can't wait to try it on the sea! What do you mean, your tray? Well, it's moving Mama's tray, but I'm using it. I'm gonna put a sail on it and slide across the ice. Why not wait till tomorrow? Wait until tomorrow? No. When I want to do something, I do it now. What if the ice suddenly melts or something? Uh, yeah! I like it here. It's warm and cozy. I hope Mum and Papa doesn't mind me using it. This is Papa's bathhouse. He built it himself, and he'll be very glad to know you're using it. It's great. The window panes are different colors. If you look out through one, the world is red, and through another one, the world is green. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't hibernate either, do you? Now, Scram, the horrible lady of the cold is coming, and if she looks you in the eye, you'll turn to ice. Go on, go away. some fish. If she does, she's going to cook us some dinner. Right. I've got to get sailing then. I'd better go see what she's doing to Mama's silver tray. Okay. Ah, got one. Ah. Mm. Oh. oh, dear me. Mm. It's cold and wet under that ice. How are you doing, little Mai? Very well, thank you. How can you get under the ice, anyway? Mm, I guess the water must be low and there's a gap left there. Oh, how? I don't know, but perhaps the tide was in when the sea froze and some of it got stuck to the shore. Oh, I suppose it's possible. Tutiki told me that she has fish soup every day in the wintertime. I know. I'll go see if the horse is frozen yet. Make sure you shut the door behind you. Ow! My thumb! Mm, I don't think it's hard enough yet. It'll collapse if the Lady of the Cold gets on it now. <sighs> oh, it's getting colder and colder.
the Groke. Don't tell me you want to ride the horse. I don't think you'd better. This is for the Lady of the Cold, you know. There's no telling what she'd do to you. Look you in the eye, probably. Even the Groke is frightened of the Lady of the Cold. Ah, now it looks frozen. That old tray really moves. Want to go? No, thanks. I'm too big. Come on, now. The fish soup is ready, and it's time you were inside, little Mai. Keep it warm for me. I'm having another go. No, little Mai. Why not? Have you forgotten what I told you? The Lady of the Cold may be coming. Oh. Well, I want to see her. I'm not scared of her. I'll be moving so fast she won't get a chance. No. Now listen to me, little Mai. All you have to do is not let her look you in the eye. But what happens if you're not quick enough and she catches you before you turn away? I know. If we watch her from the bathhouse, she won't see us. Please, little Mai. Come in. She's almost here. We can watch it from inside. That's no good. I want to see her properly. No, oh, little Mai. Mai. Don't go. Let's get back in the cabin before it's too late. Whee! Oh, the lady of the cold! little Mai to get away with it. Hmm. I don't know how she does it. I think her nerves are made of steel. I hope she's all right. She should try not to make so much noise out there.
please. Wake up, please. Oh, please don't stay frozen, little Mai. Don't worry, little Mai. We'll thaw you out. Don't worry. It's nice and warm here. So little Mai came back from the cold, little the worse for wear. Moomin need not have worried, for the little Mai's of this world are practically indestructible.